Known for their beautiful patterns, high intelligence, and fantastic diversity, lizards are some of the coolest reptiles on the planet. But, how much do you really know about these fantastic creatures? Whether you're a newcomer to the world of lizards or you're a dedicated herpetologist, we've put together this complete guide to all the types of lizards to help you learn more about these amazing animals. Up next, we'll introduce you to the 25 most fascinating types of lizards in the world. Then, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about how lizards are classified. To wrap things up, we'll even offer up some sweet fun facts, so you can impress your friends with all your new lizard knowledge. Let's get to it. Known for their beautiful patterns, high intelligence, and fantastic diversity, Lizards are some of the coolest reptiles on the planet. But, how much do you really know about these fantastic creatures? Whether you're a newcomer to the world of lizards or you're a dedicated herpetologist, we've put together this complete guide to all the types of lizards to help you learn more about these amazing animals. Up next, we'll introduce you to the 25 most fascinating types of lizards in the world. Then, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about how lizards are classified. To wrap things up, we'll even offer up some sweet fun facts, so you can impress your friends with all your new lizard knowledge. Let's get to it. The largest lizard in the world, the infamous Komodo dragon is one species you won't want to mess with. While most scary-looking lizards won't hurt you and don't want anything to do with humans, the Komodo dragon is a notable exception. In fact, these massive lizards, which can weigh up to 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, and reach a length of up to 10.3 feet 3.1 meters, are one of the few lizards in the world that have a venomous bite. They can also run terrifyingly fast, reaching speeds of up to 13 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour. The good news, they're only found on a few islands in Indonesia. However, they are considered vulnerable due to habitat loss and human encroachment. Another venomous lizard, the Gila monster is one of the most infamous species in the reptile world. It boasts a characteristic black and orange scale pattern, and a hefty body that can grow to be up to 21.5 inches 55 centimeter long. However, while the Gila monster has been known to bite humans, its bite is rarely fatal. In fact, despite its venomous nature, Gila monsters usually only use their deadly bite on their prey so we humans don't have much to worry about. You'll most commonly find the Gila monster in desert areas of the southwestern United States and in northern Mexico. But, they spend a whole lot of their time burrowing underground to stay warm at night and during the winter months. One of the most recognizable chameleons in the world, the Jackson's chameleon, is native to the forests of East Africa, but it has since been introduced to California, Hawaii, and Florida. The Jackson's chameleon is known for its three horns, rare and animals with horns, which make it look sort of like a Triceratops dinosaur. It normally has a bright green color, but it can change color based on the environmental temperature and its mood. These chameleons usually eat insects but they've also been known to eat small birds and even other lizards in places where they've been introduced. However, the Jackson's chameleon has caused a number of problems by decimating local invertebrate species. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko might have a pretty terrifying name, but we promise it's not as scary as it sounds. These geckos are found in eastern Madagascar, where they like to hang out in the rainforest. But, at just 2.5 inches, 6.4 centimeters, in length, it's far from terrifying in real life. However, these critters have a fairly unusual appearance with a brownish coloration and a tail that looks surprisingly like a leaf hence the name. In its native habitat, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko isn't considered to be threatened, which is good news for it as a species. That being said, it is fairly popular as a pet, but its unique care requirements make it appropriate only for advanced reptile caregivers.
One of the largest geckos in the world, the Take gecko, can reach about 16 inches 40 centimeter, long in its native habitat around southern and eastern Asia. Take geckos can have either red-spotted or black-spotted colorations, though you're more likely to find the black-spotted variety in Vietnam and mainland China. These geckos have a unique communication system that's quite vocal. Although they're normally solitary, you might hear them calling out to potential mates during the breeding season. However, as the Take gecko is nocturnal, you'll be hard-pressed to find them in the wild. If you do get a chance to see one in the wild, consider yourself lucky. You'll probably see them gripping onto a tree or rock with their impressive grip force, which can support up to 450 pounds, 204 kilo. Found throughout Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and parts of Brazil, the Argentine black and white tegu is a fairly large lizard that can reach lengths of up to 4 feet. 1.2 meter long. It's fairly easy to identify thanks to its distinctive black and white bands along its tail. However, young tegus tend to have a somewhat green head that fades over time. In their normal habitat, tegus tend to eat fruits, vegetables, and animal eggs. However, they're also known to eat small lizards and even rodents. While the tegu is native to South America, though, it was introduced to Florida in the United States likely as the result of some escaped pets. In Florida, the tegu has been quite problematic as an invasive species. It's known to wander around the Florida Everglades, where it can eat the young of or disturb the habitat of many sensitive species, such as sea turtles, birds, and even crocodiles. Found on six of the Galapagos Islands, the aptly named Galapagos land iguana is a stunning creature that's known for its beautiful colorations. This iguana can reach lengths of up to 4.9 feet, 1.5 meters, and live up to 55 years. It boasts a gorgeous yellow coloration, which makes it easy to spot and identify. One of the most interesting things about the Galapagos land iguana is its mutualistic relationship with some local finch species. In fact, you'll often see finches sitting on their backs and eating ticks that have burrowed in between their scales. So, the iguanas get a bit of free pest control, while the finches get a free lunch. Sounds good to us. Unfortunately, the Galapagos land iguana is currently listed as vulnerable due to widespread population declines over the last 150 years. Introduced species, especially feral dogs, have decimated the iguana population. However, there are various projects underway to help protect this amazing type of lizard, 